Nikto is a vulnerability scanner used to scan websites, web servers, and or virtual hosts. It is tremendously good at detecting website misconfigurations as well as security vulnerabilities. Nikto in general can be very good at giving specific details and can sometimes give exact information pertaining to CVEs and or exploits needed to compromise a website with small elements of dir busting as well in there. Let's get started. If you're using Kali Linux, Nikto should already be pre-installed. All you have to do is type in Nikto. If you're not using Kali Linux, please see the description on how to install. So in this case, we can type in Nikto dash H. The H denotes the host and or website we are looking to scan. I am personally gonna be using an IP address of a machine on Hack the Box. You can also use a website and type in HTTP google.com for an example, but keep in mind that whatever you decide to scan, you need to have permission to scan. Nikto is a very, very loud tool and it's very easily detected and picked up. So be careful with what you're scanning and make sure you have permission. Once this is done, we can simply hit enter and results will start filtering in and I'll be back when the results come in. And there we have it. The scan results are in. Now I did do two separate scans for Nikto just to truly show the power of Nikto. The first scan here doesn't have too much information, but the second scan is much better and has much more information on it. So if we're looking at this one here, we can see that it gives us information about the server. The server is currently Apache 2.4.41. That's good. Any information is good information. And we can see that it retrieved an XPower header version name, which is currently PHP 8.1.0 dash dev. And seems like the rest of this stuff is not particularly important. It seems like no CGI directory found, etc. No other information other than these two versions. But like I said, any type of information is good information. You always want to have that maximum enumeration skill and be able to find these versions. So. In this circumstance, and for the sake of the video, let's look up a version. In this case, what I'd normally do is I'd right click this and I'd see, hey, is this particularly vulnerable to anything? So we can go out to Google here and we can type it in here and type in exploit. Oh, look at that. We can do that there and look at this here. This is looking very juicy right now. Where remote code execution is exactly what you wanna see and it's on exploit database. So PHP 8.1.0 dash dev. This is looking very, very promising right now. And if this is a box I was looking to get into, remote code execution is the way to go. And this is something I'd look to potentially try to see if it does work. So in this circumstance, we can see that something that Nikto has retrieved has led us to a potential exploit for the system. And this is why Nikto is so great. Let's look at a second example. Here's the results of the second scan. You can see it has much more findings than the first. Let's get started. You can see that we're running the server Apache Coyote 1.1. That's nice. However, let's see what else we can find. We have XXS, no CGI. None of this really gives us huge information on the web server itself. So we'll leave it as is and see what else we can find. Let's take a look at this. File identifies the app server as Apache Tomcat, possibly this version to this version. Now, the only thing about this is it doesn't give us a specific version. It gives us a range. So it still requires quite a bit of enumeration to determine exactly what version it is. So let's see what else we can find. Now, this is interesting. Allowed HTTP methods. Now, the interesting ones are get and put. If you're not sure exactly what this means, all it means is you can use the get command to retrieve files off of the web server and you can look to enumerate software or versions through that way. So it's a good way of gaining information. But an even better one is the put. The put will allow you to use the put command to place files onto the web server. And what I'm getting at with this is you can upload and put reverse shells, malicious malware, or anything bad onto the web server and execute it and gain access through that way. So this is definitely a way in, right? But it requires some work. What we want to do 
is find the easy wins, right? So when you're looking through these Nikto scans or any scans in manner in that manner, you always want to find the easiest way in. There's no point in spending hours when there's an easy way in. So the one thing that sticks out to me out of all of these is this one here, default account found. Now that is absolutely terrible. It's great for us, but whoever has a default account, it is very, very easily compromised. So the decal account is for a Tomcat manager application, and it even gives us the directory and path at which the credentials can be placed in. So we can see even better, it gives us an ID and password for what the credentials will be. Now that is like striking gold and that is amazing. So this is a win for us. So for the sake of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to reach out to here and see exactly what's going on and see if it works. So we're just going to copy this, go out to here, type that in, and you can see it prompts us for the username and password. So we can type in Tomcat. And the password is secret, S3CRET. And we can click OK. We can wait here. Did I get it right or wrong? Ah, there we go. Perfect. And it looks like we have successfully entered the web application manager. And this basically shows the power of Nikto. All machines used are either my own personal machines or machines that I have permission to attack using Hack the Box paid subscription. This content is intended for educational purposes and this knowledge is to only be used in environments you own or have permission to perform on.